Welcome, students of Kearns High School. Let's explore the solar eclipse. Hey there. Did you know a solar eclipse is a type of eclipse that occurs when the moon passes between the sun and earth? When the moon fully or partially covers the sun? Also, depending on the geometry of the sun, moon, and earth, there can be between two and five solar eclipses each year. The longest a total solar eclipse can last is 7.5 minutes. My turn. The word eclipse was used to describe the Greek word meaning abandonment. A good safety fact is to never look directly into the solar eclipse. Oh, hey, son. Hey, what's up, Earth? Oh, nothing much, but I was just wondering if you'd let me take a picture of you in this background because you look so good today. Of course. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. Hey, class. What type of song does a planet sing? A Neptune! <laughs> Several bad puns later. Did you guys know that there will be over 300 million Americans watching the solar eclipse with you today? Also, don't forget, don't wear any other ordinary sunglasses. We're the ones Kearns High provides for you. Let's check out this classroom. Have you taught these guys about the solar eclipse yet? Well, no. <laughs> well, get to it. All right, so there's three different types of solar eclipse. The first one is the total eclipse, and it's when the moon completely blocks out the sun. The second is the annular eclipse, is when the moon is in front of the sun, but it's not blocking it completely, so there's still quite a ring around it. And the third one is the partial eclipse, when the moon is blocking out quite of the sun. All right, class dismissed. Meanwhile, hey guys, so today I'm here to show you how to properly put on your solar eclipse glasses. So, major thing you need to know before is to never look at the solar eclipse directly because it would damage your eyes and we do not want that. First step you need to do is to bow down, put your glasses on, and then look at the solar eclipse. And then when you're finished looking at it, you would just look away bow down and take them off. So this is the proper way to put on and take off your glasses. I should go see what others have learned about the solar eclipse. Hey guys, I learned the safety tip. Don't point your camera at the solar eclipse or you'll end up like this. I'm gonna take a picture of the solar eclipse today. Boom. Also, during a total solar eclipse, Conditions in the path of totality can change quickly. Air temperature drops and the area becomes dark. Hey, I got a text from Aspen. We should head to the football field to watch the solar eclipse. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hi, Jose. Hey, girls. How are you? Are you ready for the eclipse? Yes. I learned like some really interesting facts in my class. Do you want to hear them? Sure. Okay, so basically, did you know that the shadow that the moon creates on our Earth is split up into three different parts? No, I didn't. Okay, this is very interesting. Here, pay attention because I found it fascinating. Anyways, so the, it's broken. The three parts are called the umbra, penumbra, and atumbra. Okay? So the umbra would be the darkest part of the shadow that is cast. So it's when our moon completely covers our sun, right? Then our atumbra, basically it's the area surrounding that darkest shadow, right? So the moon isn't covering it all the way, but it's close to there. So it's a little lighter shadow, right? And then the penumbra is basically the outer area of these shadows. And it happens because the moon is only covering part of our sun. Isn't that cool? Hey Jose, do you want to join us to watch the solar eclipse? Sure Taylor, I'd love to. I have a fact for you. During the solar eclipse, the birds stop singing and the crickets start chirping because they think it's nighttime. Okay guys, let's do this. 
Three, two, one.